皆さんジャパンは好きですか？大好きですか？ジャパンで遊んでみたいですか？それでは行ってみましょう。ジャパンを。Hey everyone, this is Jim Grzanzio from the Oracle Groundbreakers team. We are at the Java Japan User Group CCC Conference, a semi annual conference here in Tokyo. It's about a thousand people here. We're at the end of the day, we're at the party. It's very loud behind us here. We're going to try and get this interview in <laughs> with Mercedes Beast. Mercedes, welcome.、Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. I, I am really enjoying this conference. It's, it's really amazing. Also, it's my first time here in Japan. Now, I am really super excited in living all this experience. It, I mean, it's really interesting. We can hardly hear each other, and we're standing like, like you know, two inches away. It's that loud in here right now.、Um, but this is, this is a part of the community here. It's extremely enthusiastic, as you can see. But this is your first time in Japan. Yeah, it's my first time.、Uh, it's a really quite interesting country. I really like it a lot about how respectful they are with others. Also, I like, for example, in Guatemala, I cannot go late outside and walk, and, and here I can do that, and I can explore the city and find many places. We have many visual things also. We can have many things that we can listen in the street, and it's really quite, quite, really interesting. Interesting. Okay, so unfortunately, I missed your talk earlier today. So let's just, you know, have a little conversation about what you talked about identity solutions, right? Identity solution. Well, it's not precisely identity solution, it's more about the life cycle of our users in a system. So, one of the first things that I touch in my talk is why security is really important and what we need, we as developers or all the tech industry need to take care more about that because usually it's like we create solutions with any security until something really gains run in all the life cycle. So, I start about how securing in low level secu、uh, the solutions using OAuth, JWTs. They also, I speak about the problems that we have with the credentials users. So, the use of wake passwords or try to explore a use complicated rules for create passwords that also don't solve the solution. And so, then、um, in nowadays, it's something more complicated h a n d l e d users, right? And many of us as developers, in one point or also continue being doing that, it's always that we have a new project. For i n t r o d u c e the user section, we just copy and paste that from other projects, and it's not anymore in that. So, we need to start to think about、uh, the split the user fact and the actors from our system. So, it's not the same thing. Also, I explained that in Modern systems, we don't have anymore only human beings accessing systems. We now have robots, we have IoT solutions, we have voice user interface accessing a system. So we, we not always we handle a username and a password for access to those systems. So, so when you've got the bots and IoT devices, you're talking about billions of devices. How do you handle security with that? Well, For anyone, exists、uh, specific flows. Also, in OAuth, we define different flows. So, for example, with IoT devices, we have some machine to machine communications. We use some certifications that are installed in those devices, and this is basically the credentials that they use it for identified in inside our systems. So, this is one、uh, specific case. So, I mean, I would imagine that the security conversation would be very welcome here. Yes,、uh, people were really receptive about that. I also have a section、uh, that is like best practices and are、uh, quite like aiding questions that we need to make before to start a project for have a real successful identity management. Things that we need to take in consideration, right? How we will create our users. I am migrating those users for other systems, like legacy applications, for example,、uh, that we need to start to think about that users will use many devices. So I will not use only my cell phone 
or my computer. I can use many computers. I can use tablets. I can use cell phones. Also, we need to uh, record all those things, uh, provide the users strategies for they can close their sessions if they were open in those things. Also, other solutions far away from single signing on, like using multi-factor authentication, passwordless, uh, implement federated identities or use identity federations for make logins to the users. So there are many topics around all these things. Seems very comprehensive. Um, okay, so you're an Oracle Groundbreaker Ambassador, right? Where do you work in Guatemala? Well, I work in a startup that is called Product Activity. So it's a small startup based in Guatemala. Yeah, we be, um, have an um, application. This is our product. And we sell that to companies. And we also have a, a, a website where they can see statistics and information and generate reports about that. And, f and you travel a lot, right? Yeah, I am traveling a lot. Uh, Unless it's like quite like one or two conferences a month, sometimes I make six conferences a month. Yeah. What's that like to always be on the road? Well, for me, it's really fascinating. For example, sharing what I know. And I started sharing what I know 10 years ago in Guatemala. But since a moment when it's like you have like, you arrive like to your limits in this geographic. So I expanded that traveling, and I also I like visit other places, uh, taste different food, uh, meet different costumes. So it's a really quite uh, good experience. So you learn a lot as well as you travel. Yes, also attending conferences, you learn, learn other things. Speaking with other speakers makes you learn more things. Also, how works all that technology industry about the, the world. So. Also permit to me see how things work in other more development industries that we can apply in Guatemala. And I also try to uh, encourage Guatemalan people to change their mind, grow up, that we can do uh, better things if we change that mind of belief. Interesting. Okay, well, are you going to come back to Japan after this experience? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I hope so. I hope so came in other weather better than this one that is rain all day, all night, with wine. <laughs> yeah. Well, Mercedes, thank you very much for coming by. I appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon at the next, maybe at the next conference or whatever. Yeah, have some sushi before it all goes away. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye now.